Right then, so we would kindly be given access to a balcony cabin on Morella Voyager and it's cabin 8180. Hopefully Paul will let us in. So let's show you around. Hello, hello. So let's start right here at the by the wardrobes. It's quite narrow, isn't it, do you think, to it's see it? It's a little bit narrow it's, through there, it but I've got to be honest, I'm probably a little bit wider than <laughs> I was six days ago. Exactly. But one of the features throughout all the cabins has been loads and loads of storage space. Yeah. If you've not seen our previous uh, videos, we've done the cabin tours now, showing you around outside, inside, and our junior suite. And they've all had lots and lots of um, wardrobe space and hangers, because you're one of your pet haters and when you can't take the hangers off, I don't know why these cruise lines think that you're going to steal a coat hanger. Because <laughs> literally, you can get like a million for 8p. No. What I like about them is you yeah. can take them off, you don't have to put your glasses on or... <laughs> put them in know, the slot. Put, oh, it's just, but, but anyway, let's show this other wardrobe as well, Paulie, and then we can show you that, obviously, yeah, so you've got lots and lots of storage in shelves form and in drawers. And there's another one here, isn't there, Paulie? There we are. So for all your long dresses, that's perfect too. And let's go into the bathroom next. Which, like all the other cabins that we've showed you, is exactly the same. It's got a decent floor space, a little step up um, and into the shower, but it's got the lovely glass doors. And you know how we feel about that. So this, the bathrooms on Morella Voyages just tick all the boxes, don't they, Paulie? Definitely, yeah. Also, obviously, you've got your basin. We got towed off for calling it a sink, didn't we, Paulie? Mm. So apologies. So, <laughs> this is officially our first ever cabin tour where we've called it a basin, yes. not a sink. Apparently sinks in the kitchen, basins in the bathroom. So thank you for all the feedback about that. <laughs> And you've got your shaving mirror and you've got a plug for your shaving there. So, um, yeah, so very, very happy with the, the bathrooms, isn't it, Paul? Yes. So let's take you to the main part of the, the cabin. And it's not huge, but it's a decent squarish size. This cabin's actually adjoining, um, so if you are travelling with family, you can open that up. And we'll show you on the balcony what you can do as well. But let's start with your tea and coffee facilities that can be found here. Um, we've got more storage and also you've got a safe which is, seems to be the same size in all the cabins uh which is it's okay but as you can see you can't get a, a laptop in there you can oh, just about get um all your sort of wallets and passports which is the most important thing isn't it and you've got a fridge every room's got a fridge which is which is great to see to get your crafts of water from the water machine or just to put your cold drinks that you buy on your or, at the bar or if you've got any medicine that requires refrigeration yes so. good point so but each side of the bed you've got a lamp and a two drawer um bedside table nice big bed isn't it poorly the beds have been all nice and big yeah. you all right no i'm just looking to see if there's yeah any one features. thing that we've noticed in a lot of the cabins is no usb ports we thought with the ship being refurbed that they would have put usb ports in but they haven't this is a obviously you've got a nice comfy seat there so that goes into it the looks like it goes well, into a single got, sofa bed so. yeah so if you're traveling with a, a child, etc., you can use that. And then you've got the uh, little desk area with a hairdryer in the top drawer there and, um, and more storage. Now plugs, there isn't lots of plugs in this room. As you can see, you've got a European plug and you've got a US, uh, but you so just two plugs, which for um, a cabin isn't a lot, is it? I know people have somebody did say to us that obviously those sometimes in cabins the what the the lamps are hardwired but on here they are plugged into sockets which are behind the bed but the last thing you want to do is be move around pulling the beds out and unplugging stuff so you unfortunately it's like first world problem yeah to make do with that yeah you got your tv and you've got a little magazine rack down there but let's show you the balcony and as you can see, it's not a bad size at all, actually. It's quite deep. You've got a little coffee table and you've got two chairs. And we're currently in Barcelona. But Paul will show you now, if you did have a family, we mentioned about the adjoining door, see there's a little hole there. Then you could just speak to your cabin steward and they could open it up and they could have an extended balcony, which yeah. we've done on a few occasions, yeah. haven't we? And it's a good idea. Yeah. Unless you don't get on with your family. Exactly. And then you can keep it locked. Exactly. So this is a standard balcony on Morella Voyager and we've hoped you've enjoyed the look around.